Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano, with UMD. Before we start today's tutorial I will be happy to give me your feedback down below in the comments, and tell me what do you want to see here on the channel. Your comments the way to improve the content of the channel. In this exercise, we're going to add more interest, and intensity to our type by animating a flickering glow, without using any keyframes. To start let's look at how this graphic is built. Later one is red type if I turn the visibility off. You can see it's got a black drop shadow under there. It has a white outline under that I have a burst. And under there is our background. I will turn the visibility of all these layers back on. And I want to change the white to a glow. So let's select layer 3 the POW white layer. And then go up under the effect menu go to blur and sharpen shoes fast box blur. Change the blur radius setting to a value of 7. You can see. Now we've got a nice blurry glow. Create animation instead of adding keyframes while administration on Windows. Hold down Alt on Mac hold down option. And click on the stopwatch next to the blur radius. To automatically add the expression. Notice, now when we go to the timeline here under blur radius it says expression. On the right, I have a text editing area. And rather than clicking inside of there I'm just automatically going to start typing. And I'm going to add a wiggle expression. So start by typing the word bagel w-i-g-g-l-e, and they will choose a left Karen, and I wanted to wiggle 20 times a second. So I will type 20. And then I'll press comma, and I only wanted to wiggle the value up or down. About 5 points. So I'll say 5. And then let's choose the right Karen here. And click anywhere outside of this white line. To set the wiggle expression. Now free press the space bar you'll notice the glow is actually wiggling. If I press the space bar again it'll stop playback. Well, that's one way to create an expression write it from scratch. Another way is to actually have one parameter of any layer effect get driven by another one. So what we'll do is address the rotation of the drop shadow based on the intensity of the blur radius. So I'll select layer 2 and press R to open its rotation. Now if you notice next rotation if we go over the current link column indented here is a pick whip and that's where the rotation. Rotation value to match the blur radius. So click on the pick whip hold my mouse down and drag and clean at the blur radius. And when I let go this is automatically going to create an expression. And I know what expression's been applied. Because I can see the numbers turn red. Also to the left of the keyframe button. Here there is an arrow. So if we open the arrow here. You can see there is an expression of the rotation. And it's saying in his compositions layer your POW white. We're gonna look at the effect for the fast box blur. Based on the blur radius. So notice they match perfectly. If I press the space bar it's going to go ahead and rotate at the same intensity as the glow. Now this looks a little rough I don't want to rotate nearly as much. But I still wanted to rotate in sync with the wiggle and the glow. So press the space bar to stop playback. And click once anywhere in the tape here the expression for the rotation. That will select all the letters in the type. And click to the right they'll use the forward slash button and type 10 and what I'm saying is I want this expression to be divided by 10. So it's only gonna be one tenth as strong as the blur radius. So when I click outside of there notice this is set to 8.1 in here. Now it's 0.8. So if I press the space bar again you can see. Now I have my rotation flickering at the same velocity just not nearly as much. So as you can see expressions allow you to create dynamic animation quickly without the use of keyframes. Here we go we are done for today. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.